losing time. I'm I'm going to be talking about Notion and how I use it to plan my social media content. Today I'm going to be talking all about how to use it for Instagram scheduling. I use Notion in combination with Canva as my actual scheduler. Unfortunately, you can't schedule content from Notion, but hopefully, you know, they have the new API. We'll see what happens with all these different social media platforms. I usually use Notion to plan my content and then I actually create it and schedule it inside of Canva. So those are the two apps that I use to make my Instagram content. Obviously I can't make reels and stuff in there. So I use other apps like InShot and uh, just some other apps on my phone. So I can talk about that too, if you're interested. I do have my Instagram marketing class, so I will, I'm constantly updating that. Make sure to check that out in the uh, link in bio where I talk a ton about Instagram um, and how to use it from everything from stories to reels, IGTV, marketing, selling, all the things. Those are available in my Instagram marketing class. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get to it. And before you do, make sure to like and subscribe for more Notion content. Okay, so here is kind of my layout for my content creation pipeline. I explained this in my last video. Basically, within all of my content creation, I have it in one database, but it's kind of filtered by channel and by status. Those are the two main things that I filter it with. So you'll see here that I have um, all of my content ideas, and this is not just for you know my podcast or my YouTube or even my blog or my Instagram, it's everything. So anything I have an idea for, I'm gonna put here in this filtered view where the status is potential ideas. So you can see here, I have all the different channels, all the different, etc. So I have all these set up. So I have the scheduled status. So you'll see all my different statuses and they're all filtered. This is a template I got from August Bradley. You can get this as well uh, if you just go to his YouTube channel. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today is kind of how I set up my Instagram specifically. So you'll see if you go through, I have all of my published archives, which I have recently updated. So they're all together. But what I do also is I also have a project in my project area, which is right here, projects database. So I have one called Instagram upcoming things that I'm doing. So you'll see, you know, where my status is. So again, this is a project in my project database, which I talked about in my last video, but I really want to show you guys. So what I've done here is because I have everything in the content production pipeline, I have now filtered it so that it is only the statuses that aren't about to publish or publish in the past. And then also all of my specific accounts. I have three social media or Instagram accounts. So right now this is all I have for actually scheduled for the next week. So this is actually, you'll see, and I'll, I'll kind of go into each. So for my Memorial Day post, this is going to be happening on Monday. Um, my status, I've changed it to next up. So instead of just a content idea, it's my next post. Um, I've added the channel. So again, I have a bunch of different channels. I also have my uh, topics. So I have a ton of different topics of things I've done on uh, basically everything. Anytime you have a topic idea, I just kind of select that. Then I also choose the priority. So if I have something in my content ideas and I put it as high priority, that usually means it's, it's the next thing I'm gonna make. If you have any notes, maybe an idea about something that you wanna do. Um, also we have like, you know, if you're doing like a video shoot, the, the thing about having all of my content ideas in one is there is going to be additional things that aren't going to make sense for Instagram. That is the only issue that I have with this is you are going to see every single link. So some of these, for example, a transcription that is part of my podcast setup. So it's a little bit different. Um, but basically, you know, you have all these different options to select for me, for Instagram specifically, I have a couple of different things that I do. So for this one, I have the type of Instagram post that it's going to be. So this I know is going to be an Instagram, just regular post, probably a photo. And then for myself, one of the things that I like to do for specifically for Instagram is I like to have daily themes Monday through Friday. I have a specific theme and I stick with that every week. So for example, Minnesota Monday, uh, I have a Minnesota based Instagram account. So that's my topic of the day and that repeats weekly. So one thing I've started doing recently with notion is I've also started embedding or sorry, connecting the API with Zapier. And what I've done is every time I create a something inside of my Google calendar, it actually makes a step on my action items list. So for example, 
if I write, make a reel every Thursday at you know 8 a.m., it actually will automatically add that to my calendar inside of Notion. So that's something that I've also started incorporating is my Google Calendar. Now, this is literally just for planning Instagram content. Um, you'll see that I actually have all of my past posts as well. So starting from about 2020, I, there, I have a lot more posts back, but that's kind of when I started doing it. I've started now kind of putting together, you know, for example, if I click on this and open it, you will see that it is the page um, with some information about that specific post. So I really like to have everything kind of organized. If I go back here, this is just my project that is Instagram content coming up. You'll see it's part of my content creation pipeline pillar. Um, I also can tag any knowledge base items. So I should actually add the Instagram um, knowledge base board, which I will show you guys in a second. Um, but this is really how I plan my Instagram. So if I ever have an idea, um, right now this is filtered to just things that are coming up this week. Um, but I can also see all of my ideas in the future. Um, and that's just something I also have this drop down topics. I like, um, other things, but this is really it. So all of this is part of the same, th this and here are in the exact same database. They're just filtered. So these are past posts. So these are posts that are published. And then these are ones that are going to be planned out. So you'll see that there's different statuses. Um, I can also link these to different, uh, knowledge base options. So I'll show you guys the knowledge base again. So if there's a specific, uh, thing about a specific topic, I could actually tag the knowledge base and then, um, know that that's linked to each other and know that there's a post about that. Um, so for example, if I wanted to go, let me go back. So, uh, for example, my, my ADHD podcast comes out on Tuesday and I have tagged the ADHD knowledge base. So if I go back to the knowledge base and click on ADHD, you will see if I go down to podcasts that this is the production pipeline, um, link. So it's interlinked. And so now if you ever like, I need a, something information about ADHD, I now have my podcast listed there. If you click on it here, you'll actually go into the actual, um, thing and I'll ha eventually have the link to it. So I could have the, um, the URL for that specific podcast. So I'm interlinking all of my projects. I'm interlinking all of my content pipeline. So again, that's this one, but what's cool is because I have a separate project that's just for Instagram, I have created, this is actually a linked database. So this is a linked database that's filtered. Um, again, if you follow August Bradley, you can kind of understand how I do this. I like to still have my separate pages in the projects for each individual, uh, thing that I do. So for example, um, under content, you'll see, I have my Facebook posts, my Pinterest podcasts, but again, all linked back to that one and only content creation pipeline. So I have all of the pipelines going, um, one way where it's like everything that I'm creating is in one area. And then it's kind of sectioned out into projects so I can actually look at, at just Instagram or just podcasts. And I'll be showing you guys how to do podcasts in my next video. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I do have my old template that I used to use. Oh, I wanted to show you also, um, kind of some other things that you can add to this. So if you go into this listing, another thing you can add are things like hashtags, your caption, um, any effects that you're doing. If you're making a reel, um, you know, just anything description, Th these are just ways to kind of get a hang of it. Then I go into Canva and create it. And I have a whole video on how to create Instagram posts in Canva and schedule them. But this is kind of the first step. That's the second step. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and if you want me to go deeper into something. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. Wanted to let you guys know again, if you haven't purchased my Instagram marketing class, make sure to check it out below where I share a ton of information about Instagram. Hope you guys check that out.